Hey guys, quick vlog, two things. A, I hit a little milestone. One of my videos hit over half a million views, just one video from just a few months ago. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, so this quick vlog, I'm gonna discuss something that was put to me, a question that was put to me by somebody who was thinking about building an app. They wanna build a SaaS, if I recall. And they started learning a little bit of Django, which is the web framework for Python. And they were concerned that Python may not be able to handle the server load that their brand new web app might get at some point. So uh, it's part of programmer's pain, if you will. You're wondering about whether your technology stack, your chosen technology, whether it be Python, Django, JavaScript Node, PHP, Laravel, Java Spring, et cetera, et cetera. You're wondering, will it actually step up to the plate? Will it be able to handle the load should your app gain that kind of success? So you have to look at this from a business person's perspective. Build the app with whatever language and framework you're comfortable with. And I can tell you that any of these frameworks, any of the modern ones that are out, but that have been out for the last several years, they will be more than able to handle just about any app's requirements for at least a while. And I say that because computers are so fast these days, app frameworks and programming languages are so optimized these days. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. And if you ever find yourself at some point where your app is under tremendous load, where you feel that you might need to expand upon it, you have the resources at that time. You will have the resources at that time to be able to deal with it. When you're first building an app, you can't assume you're going to be Facebook. That's one of the big mistakes that new developers make. They, they want to build in all these capabilities and into their new app that will be able to handle Facebook level of traffic. That's kind of silly. No, no, you start off small, just get it out quickly as possible. The startup community, they call this uh, MVP, minimum viable, pro minimum viable product. Any entrepreneur knows you just get your product out as quickly as possible. Use the old good enough principle that Microsoft uh, made famous and just get it out, see what happens. What you're gonna find actually in most web apps, the bottleneck is typically with the database, database interactions. So one of the first and the biggest ways to optimize any code base is to look at your database, look at the table structure, look at your indexes. I've talked about this in another video. So again, don't get caught up in programmer's pain thinking that you have to choose the perfect technology stack for your app. At the end of the day, you could use five-year-old technology and it will be more than able to handle your business for a little while at least. And if it gets so successful that you need to add on to it, you could, uh, there's all kinds of different strategies you could use that are not too expensive to expand on the scalability, meaning the power that your app needs to be able to handle the client load. But let me tell you, when you're that, in that situation where you find yourself where you have an overload of clients, that's a fantastic position to be in, right? I wouldn't worry too much about it. That happened to us with Studio Web again fairly recently. Well, it first started a few years back. And what we did is we built, we built a secondary app that used a much more modern framework that created a series of microservices that fed into the older app to allow it to handle an increased load and capacity. It worked fine. More recently, with the same app, of course, we, uh, I found out through investigation, it was uh, just this index is not being properly applied to particular tables and uh, fields within the database. And I was able to reduce, reduce my server load by 90% with just you know, two, three hours of me looking at things. Uh, okay, I identified the problem and literally takes a minute or so to implement and bing bang, Bob's your uncle, problem solved. And this is with a very old code base. So yes, bottom line is, 
if and when you should reach that problem, that's a great problem to have, and there'll be many different solutions that you can find to uh, enable that your code base, if it ever gets overloaded, will be able to handle the increased load. Not such a big deal. Don't worry about it. All right, that's enough for today's Nerd Tip.